provide food and beverage service. In this unit you will learn the following. Organise tasks and plan workflow. Manage the service cycle. Manage relationships with colleagues and customers. Organise tasks and plan workflow. Before starting work, it's important that you organise the tasks that you will have to complete throughout the course of your shift. There is certain information you need to be aware of before starting your shift in order to provide the best possible customer service. This will include checking if there are bookings and reservations made and whether they have any special requirements. This can include anything from requesting a particular table to having strict dietary needs. Check with the kitchen and familiarise yourself with the menu taking note of any changes or specials. Make sure you're fully aware of your role and if you have any questions, ask your supervisor. Clarify the roles of your colleagues and if needed, assist them in completing any tasks they may need help with. A work schedule is a good way to maximise efficiency. During a busy shift, you don't want to be relying on your memory as it's very important that the appropriate persons complete all designated tasks. Monitor your workflow throughout and where necessary, make adjustments to the schedule to account for new customers, changes in the menu or any other requirements which alter through your shift. Monitor service and engage or direct other team members to tasks where appropriate. Manage the service cycle. From a local pub to an internationally known restaurant, people have always enjoyed going out to eat. But before a meal can be enjoyed, various procedures must be carried out to create an environment where people can enjoy themselves. It may be your job to carry out these necessary tasks. So let's begin by looking at the tasks concerned with preparing a dining area for use. The cleanliness of the dining area is of paramount importance. It must be maintained to a high level to ensure that bacteria and other health hazards do not affect the customers. You may be required to check the cleanliness of the dining area. Possible trouble spots include floors, windows, tables, lights, chairs and fittings. Of course, it's no good having a clean dining area unless all other customer facilities are clean and hygienic as well. Customer facilities include the bathrooms, the bar, entertainment areas, reception areas and other parts of the venue that the patron has access to. You may be required to check these customer facilities before the public is admitted. Check your workplace procedure and ask these questions. Are the toilets clean? Are they in working order? Are the hand basins clean and working? Are the taps clean? Is there enough toilet paper? Are hand dryers working or hand towel dispensers stocked? Is there enough soap? Do doors work? Is the floor clean and dry? Are latches, knobs, doors and switches clean and do they work? Is the bar prepared? Are entertainment areas clean? Is the ventilation adequate? You should also check all equipment that staff may use to make sure it's clean and in order. The next question you must ask is, is the environment appropriate for the kind of guests your venue wishes to attract? The environment in your dining area is important. People who go out to eat generally expect a comfortable and relaxing time. To achieve this, restaurants have usually used soft instrumental music and soft lighting. However, it must be remembered that each restaurant will have its own particular environment, depending on the house style and the type of customers it wants to attract. Your responsibility is to make sure the dining area lives up to the house style. Certain environmental concerns, however, are universal. The environment shouldn't be too hot or too cold. 
Remember, you might be quite hot because you're running around doing your job, but for people sitting down, relaxing and dining, the temperature may be too cool. The type of service on offer also affects your venue's environment. Individual establishments may combine traditional dining techniques, such as silver service, with more modern adaptations, such as letting the customer refill their own wine glass during service. The formal atmosphere created by silver service may intimidate some patrons. Make sure you know how formal or informal, traditional or modern your establishment is. Be flexible in adapting the skills you learn in this unit to the procedures appropriate in your venue. Another major consideration is furniture. Furniture is generally set out to match a floor plan. This floor plan needs to take into account several things. The shape of the room. Any permanent fixtures in the room such as fireplaces and sideboards. The size of the tables and chairs. The number of guests in a party. The movements of waiting staff. The location of doors and fire escapes. Stability and outside furniture. And the types of meals served. Some restaurants have fixed seating such as booths and alcoves, but if you have to position tables, you must remember the following. Leave enough room so that the staff and patrons can move about the dining room with ease, including anyone with a disability. Don't put tables so close together that patrons infringe on each other's privacy. Don't put tables too close to entrances, kitchens, bathrooms or any loud areas, as this may put guests off their meals. Hi. Hi, how are you? Want to get a table for eight? Do you have a reservation? Unfortunately don't, no, I'm sorry. Well, I'll just check for you and see we've got room. The furniture plan may also need to be flexible, so that people who don't have a reservation, also known as walk-ins, can also be accommodated. Yes, just follow me. Okay, thank you. Now that the tables are in position, everything in the room needs to be cleaned. Furniture should be polished. Wall fixtures such as wall hangings, paintings and lighting should be dusted and cleaned. Doors, especially the front door and the doors to the kitchen and bathroom should be cleaned. Any decoration used must be cleaned. Glass must be polished. Vents must be dusted and floors and seats vacuumed. All food and beverages that are displayed in your workplace must be arranged according to your workplace procedures and legal or hygiene requirements to keep them looking fresh and attractive. Before commencing clothing and laying down tables, you should check with the kitchen as to the day's or evening's menu. Being aware of what the menu offers, as knowing any variations from the usual menu at this stage can save you preparation time. For example, there is no point laying out chopsticks on every table if Asian dishes are not listed on the menu. Like the environment of a restaurant, the layout of a table depends on the style of a restaurant, the menu, and the amount of time given to the setup procedure. Obviously, it would be inappropriate to lay out the table with chopsticks when the menu is Italian. However, to be mindful that individual customers have special requirements, such as needing a fork and spoon, because they can't use chopsticks. If your restaurant uses tablecloths and other coverings, you should be familiar with these and how they're used. If you are required to cloth a table, here is one traditional way of doing it. In the case of having to re-cloth a table during service, you should take care to do it quickly, with minimal disruption and without exposing the bare table. Exposing the table is unsightly and disrupts the ambience of the dining area. Here is one way of doing it. You also may be required to fold napkins in a neat and decorative manner. Common styles are bishop's hats, fans and cones. Your supervisor will show you the styles used in your restaurant. When you lay down tablecloths, you should always check that they are clean. If you notice any dirt on the cloth, you should remove it from the dining area and notify your supervisor. 
Cutlery must also be kept clean and polished. To polish cutlery, it must be dipped in hot water with vinegar and wiped with a polishing cloth. If a piece of cutlery falls on the floor or is otherwise soiled, it must be returned to the kitchen immediately for cleaning. When laying out cutlery, hold it by the side of the neck or handle to avoid contaminating it. When it comes to glassware, you must first check that there are no chips or cracks that may have occurred during washing. Then the glassware must be polished by holding the glassware over rising steam. It should then be polished using a polishing cloth. If a glass is dropped and is not chipped or broken, it should be taken back to the kitchen for cleaning. The process of welcoming the guest begins well before they arrive. Prepare yourself by finding out what is on the menu, including any specials or changes. You should also find out the main ingredient of each dish, particularly if they contain ingredients such as nuts, as these can cause allergic reactions. Also find out if the dish is light or heavy, and if the dish is vegetarian. Find out which dishes are available in entree size or half portions. If you can answer these questions without referring to the kitchen, the customer will appreciate it and you'll appear professional. Hi. Hi. Uh, table for eight. Do you have a reservation? When the guests arrive, they should be politely greeted. And if your venue offers reservations, this is the time when you should inquire if they have a booking. Notice if there is a host within the group of customers. This will help later with the ordering procedure. Hi. Hi. Uh, table for eight? Do you have a reservation? Uh, yes, we do. If they do have a reservation, the details of the booking should be asked. If these correspond to the notes in the reservation book, lead the guests to their table. Yes, would you like to follow me? Okay, thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Want to get a table for eight? Do you have a reservation? Unfortunately, don't. No, I'm sorry. Well, I'll just check for you, see if we've got room. If no reservation has been made, a check must be carried out to see if the required number of tables can be made available. Hi, can I help you? Yes, uh, we have a reservation for O'Malley, thank you. Yes, would you have a preferred table? Yes, it's our wedding anniversary today. Find out if the customers have any special requirements, such as preferred tables. As demonstrated earlier, you may need to move tables together to accommodate large parties. Assist the customers with hats or coats, then show them to their tables and draw chairs out for each of them when they're ready. This is also the time to ask about other requirements, such as high chairs.